we're going to check out a locally run AI. It's an LLM that somebody told me about. Uh, just the other day, I did a video addressing some people who are asking me like, hey, I want to use ChatGPT, but how do I do it securely? I don't want to share my data. And in that video, I told them that if you truly wanted to be secure, you needed to run one of these locally. Uh, the problem was is that a lot of them were difficult to run and somebody reached out to me and said, hey, this is an easy way to get it installed. So it turns out that somebody took up the mantle and created a flat pack um, that allows you to use multiple different AI models that are all open source. So there's models that are by Microsoft, there's ones that are by uh, Google, there's ones that are by Meta, of course. And let's just pop in there. There we go. You can go check out his website and it'll tell you everything that it can do. So like some of those models, you're able to do image recognition. Um, you're able to do, you know, uh, video transcription, stuff like that. Seems pretty cool. Uh, let's see, of course, it's all open source on GitHub. Uh, Flatpak, by the way, is a way that you can install applications on a Linux distribution and they're containerized. So the application that's installed on your computer can't talk to any of the other applications that are on your computer unless you explicitly tell it that it's allowed to. Okay, let's jump over and check this guy out. Here we are. Okay, so I uh, asked <laughs> I asked ChatGPT to come up with some generic prompts that I could use to test this thing out. And I only downloaded one model so far, which was Llama 3.2. That's by Meta. And I asked it some basic questions. Um, I asked it to make a simple Python script and it was able to generate it. Something that I noticed though, is that it was a little slow. And I've also had this crash on me a few times while using it. Um, let's see. Other things that I noticed is that it didn't save some of the responses that it gave for Llama. And right now in the background, I am downloading another model that is made by Alibaba that is uh, specific to coding. So let's go check out their website. I just clicked on the Alibaba one. I'm downloading the, the 32B, which is a 20 gigabyte file size. Okay, we'll click on their website. It opened. So they said that this coder is on par with ChatGPT's uh, 4.0, which is the version that I'm using. So in a later video, uh, once this thing downloads, I'll go through and test it out. But this is pretty cool. Um, if you wanted something that can do the text generation or uh, explaining code to you, then you could easily just install this. Go to flathub.org um, as long as you're on the Linux distribution and click on install and then click on the thing that downloads. It'll open up your package manager, your app store, and it'll take you directly to it so that you can install it and try it out for yourself. Yeah. Uh, hey, let me know in the comments what you think of this thing. I want to really give it a, a deep go through and uh play around with it as much as possible. Hopefully I can figure out how to allow it to use as much resources as it needs. Cause yeah, it's useless if it crashes on me all the time, but really cool open source project. Um, if I end up using this thing, then I am going to sponsor this developer because that is awesome.